Welcome back, everybody, to Nero in 1.3. Oh, God. I didn't realize there were so many enemies already spawning. But I figured the only way to really progress right now is to s explore... Oh, God. The, uh... The other side of the map, if we can. That is, of course, the left-hand side. Oh, God. Okay. It's coming in. Ah, shoot. Okay. Well... The longer I stay in the corruption, the more little monsters spawn, and it seems to be a real big problem for me. I don't like the respawn times here. Okay. But, uh, it's gonna have to happen. Is that a red squirrel? Cute. Well, off-screen, if you're wondering what happened, I just, uh, finished off building a few more rooms at the top of the living wood tree. I don't particularly want to do too much off-screen, but I also don't particularly want to put everything on-screen either, because that would be a slight waste of time for both you, me, and progression in general. Because if I spend all my time dying in the corruption, well, well, what good was that? I don't particularly find myself a fan of it either. God, I'm taking 20, 50 damage from that thing, and it's not even actively trying to kill me. That's just bad playing style. Maybe I gotta learn when to switch from a gun to a sword. Maybe that's what Nero's problem is. He's, uh, he's kind of a one-trick pony right now. Oh, God. Okay. Gotta learn really good aiming skills here. As well as getting ready to... Not take crazy fall damage. Uh, but I know for a fact that the only thing to do to continue is to... I don't have any bombs, do I? I know the monsters are extremely deadly here, but I don't know what else to do. Except maybe hope for some bombs in these little things. Danger sense? Sure, I'll use that. Okay. I'm not particularly farming these guys. It just is a thing that's kind of happening right now. Because I figure the only thing to do is break through the ebon stone because I really don't have... I don't think my iron pickaxe is strong enough to... Yeah, I am not strong enough to mine this stuff. So we're going to have to hope for some bombs somewhere. Hopefully those are still easy to acquire through, like, pots or whatever. Okay. I'm being very careful. There's some ropes. I definitely have enough bullets, don't I? He said, uh, realizing he only had 16 left. Hmm. Okay. We're gonna want a lot of platforms here. Just in general. Okay, what's down there? Uh, a long way down. Not a fan, okay. I want to be able to break that shadow orb down there, but it's looking like that's kind of going to be an issue. Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Okay, those guys are my worst enemies, basically. The devourers, because they only come on screen when they're about to attack me. Now, see what I mean? And they have a lot of health. Hey, come on. I got nothing else to shoot it with. That's a problem. That's a... Oh, God! Oh, my God! Even after that, it can just kill me in one hit. Alright. Maybe the corruption was the bad idea. I mean, technically that's progress. I blocked a few holes. Got some more torches. Uh, gathered up some more things. But we're really going to need to, like, somehow make a bed. And some other stuff. So let's head back up here. I already put some, ch some not churches, some chests around to sort things. 
There we go. And we'll see you in a moment. Alright, so while caving just underneath the house, we find a second life crystal. Fabulous. Let's do that right now. I really need money so I can buy more bullets, to be honest. Maybe Ranger wasn't the best to start off with, simply because I guess I'm going to need to buy my ammo. No. Uh oh. God, yep, yeah, with nothing else but this sword, I kind of suck. Anything that shows up can just kill me immediately, pretty much. Oh, uh, one gold? How'd that guy drop a gold? That's valuable. Especially right now, anyway. I don't think it said it was a rare creature either, so... I don't know. How did that guy drop a gold? I definitely know it just said a gold, so... Okay. We'll head down here, because it's nearby. Okay. I think I hear bats. Perhaps the closest places to home may in fact be the most valuable. I'm not holding out any hopes for a nearby chest. The background object or something? No, nope, that's just silver. Straight up. Straight up silver coins. Okay, it's worth it to find out what's in these pots, I think. Shurikens can be sold, even if I don't like them, as can arrows. Oh great, a yellow slime. They're quite strong. I say that because... Look how small... You know, look how little damage they, uh... Look how lo lots of health they have, I mean. It's no big achievement to kill them, but... Man, I suck. They just drop regular gel, not like special yellow gel or something. like ropes are the way to go for now. Shiny potion. Okay. I think, you know, at the very least, though, those yellow slimes are the bane of my current existence. I feel like I really should return to the base and, like, figure out if there's some more bullets I can buy or something. I'm so weak right now that this cactus sword really ain't cutting it. I don't know if there's anything nearby, like super nearby. It is a randomly generated world, isn't it? So anything's possible. It could be, could be something extremely valuable just up this weird little slope thing. Or in that pot, for example. And I'm willing to check it out. And you're coming along for the ride, apparently. Water flowing certainly looks a bit weird, doesn't it? Copper ore. Not totally valuable. How is everybody doing today, anyway? If you're wondering, today is, in fact, Canada Day. Uh, I don't know if that actually means anything besides, you know, Happy Canada Day. There's going to be fireworks later, etc. Because, you know, patriotism is a really stupid idea. <laughs> no offense to anybody who actually cares about their country and stuff. But... In general, the idea of, like, you know, somehow the place you were born is, you know, somehow something you should be super proud of, as opposed to it being, you know, another random place you ended up being just because of how, you, you know, circumstances in, uh, you know, you can't choose where you were born, that just kind of happened. You know, am I proud to be a Canadian? Does it matter? I just kind of am. It's not a, it's not a big thing at all, to me, anyway. Probably is to other people. I don't mean to offend people. Uh, but I will say that since I tend to be the kind of person that makes jokes at politics and stuff, uh, the idea of patriotism is one very easy to make fun of. And there's, you know, clearly some reasons for that. But because people get sensitive on the internet, people don't really talk about it too much. Unfortunate. I mean, you know, anything for the sake of comedy, I say. Maybe. 
That is a very bad thing. Don't quote me on that part. Oh, man. They don't... You know, everybody needs a sense of humor. What a dark topic. See, it, it, it automatically degrades into realizing that you're saying something that other people find serious. And people that are finding things serious should immediately, you know, have fun thrown at them and, and be made fun of anyway, so that they can stop being so serious about it. What is this stuff, anyway? Hardened sand. And of course there's regular sand, so that's how this stuff stays up. I know that the jungle, I mean the desert, obviously has been revamped, I guess is the word. Made to be a lot more difficult, but I was wondering how come all the sand was, like, not falling. Hardened sand. Well, that was a much needed change, wasn't it? You know, I'm just under my base right now, and I really didn't find anything that special. But, we're gonna need to gather way more materials if we're gonna want some special armor that's not cactus garbage. I mean, this is technically okay for now. But I need to progress. We need to get farther. We need armor that's not cactus, a sword that does more than 11 damage. We need to go buy some bullets. And yeah, smashing a shadow orb might not be the best idea, but it really is literally the next step. Maybe we can avoid, avoid this pink slime. Or that red slime entirely. Pink slimes actually wouldn't be so bad, I think, except that they have so much health. I'm told they drop new stuff in this 1.3 kind of game. There's so much water under this house, though. It's kind of ridiculous. I'm almost willing to just start digging a mini elevator down and just hoping to find something special. Because I don't know about you guys, but this character here, Nero, he's an explorer. He needs to go farther. But how far do you go before you realize it's too late to return, or that it's just too dangerous? I mean, thank goodness ropes are basically free. I think there's a cave right under us right now, I think. It looks like a big cave, though. I was wrong. Could be a big cave. Very low overhang. Two directions to go. Let's take the easy one and maybe we'll come back later. I'm sure they'll actually meet up later, maybe. Hmm. I really don't think there's a point in collecting copper of all things. Except that. You know, at this point in the early game, I'll really take all I can get. Uh, let's jump in the water. Break some pots. Get some more sick loot, I hope. Oh, God! It, yeah, uh, well, that was a close call. I don't really relish that. We got really lucky there, didn't we? Ooh, our first abandoned cabin. Okay, this is awesome. I knew there was a reason to be here. I am loot achievement. I've got... What is this thing, anyway? The enchanted boomerang does 13 melee damage. It's not too much more than my sword, to be honest. Um... All right, let's see, uh... I'm willing to test it out, though, because if it deals more damage more quickly, it'll be good with that. I'm also taking the flower statue and the chest statue, because why not? There's nothing else really of value in this place, I think. Was that iron ore? I hope. Ooh, actually, this kind of creates a little bit of light, too, doesn't it? 
no telling how deep this is. We've got ourselves in a bit of a pickle, don't we? Especially since I forgot to buy bullets before coming down this hole. Great. Worst case scenario, maybe I can craft bullets with the iron ore later on. Really the best and the worst case scenario right now is exactly the same thing, which is we're here. We got no bullets, get used to it. Okay, let's do this. I love the music though. I always have. I hope I find some new musical tracks too while I play this game. Okay. Even just atmosphere changes is just a great benefit. Okay. Seems a bit silly to be a rope climbing or smacking character, but that's kind of what's going on right now, isn't it? That's all just stone right there, huh? Yeah, okay. Okay, let's try out the boomerang on this guy. Well, it does keep them away. Might as well get this copper because it's so close to us. So for lighting qualities, it's better than nothing. Oh god. I think can multiply multiply hit this yellow slime of death. Okay. So that makes it quite valuable. Is it more valuable than the cactus sword? Almost. But it doesn't have a modifier. I mean, it ended up being godly, and that was really lucky for us. But I mean, as such, it is kind of holding me back because it's just not strong enough, and I keep thinking, no, oh, this isn't that much stronger. When really it is. It's, I just didn't get a good modifier at all with it. The boomerang, that is. Okay. But if one gold chest can immediately change my playstyle, that really shows how important it is to find another one. So, I don't even know how common uh, underground huts are, but clearly, if I go by strange Minecraft logic, which is weird, please don't stop watching, um, like, perhaps I'm on the same layer that, you know, that kind of logic, that, well, I fa that weird noise. Is it just the jellyfishes doing their thing? Anyway, like I was saying, by Minecraft logic, it would suggest that, uh, where do you find, um, abandoned cabins? Well, on such and such depth. Well, I've already found one, so clearly, at least this minimum depth is guaranteed. And if I hang around, like, moving left and right, maybe I'll be lucky enough to find another one somewhere. I know I said I'd- oh god! Oh! Two crystals, really, okay. I was hoping to kill it on the return, but apparently it had a lot of health left. Ooh, it dropped tin ore? Okay, we find some, some valuable health crystals down in this weird sandy pit of a place. Dangerous, very dangerous. Okay. Going for this ore. Then I think we're going to check out to the left. I have a feeling that heading into this sandy area is going to be the death of me. I know it had a bunch of hearts, though, so it was valuable to come here. But I really do get the feeling that anything in this new underground deserty type place is going to, to eat my brains. Not even zombies, just bugs. They're going to come in through my ears and probiscitize all my internal organs. I get that feeling. It's quite disturbing, actually. Like, you know when a mosquito bites you and you're like, oh man, that sucked? Think about it if the bug actually crawled through your ear canal and just started sucking up your brain. Dang. Horrible. And I'm just wearing cactus still, so... You got some problems. I mean, this early grind is really difficult. There you go. That's a weird noise. Something nearby really does want to eat me. I mean, at least it's not rare. This really doesn't make me feel much better. Yeah, okay. 
Another big iron deposit is welcome, though. Excellent. Okay. I'm glad that your pickaxes don't break over time, because if you think about it, using an iron pickaxe to mine iron ore... I mean, these are essentially the same hardness, except that my pickaxe has been processed, so, I mean... If we were talking about damage and stuff, like... That would really make Terraria a really grindy game if your tool just broke over time. Imagine. Terrible. I'm glad that wasn't implemented. Ever. Hopefully never will be. Ah, oh, there's a big cave right under our feet. And horrible bats in it. I see at least... I count at least three. That's a mother slime down there, I think. And something else. What is that? Salamander. I want to know what you are, but I don't want to die. This is a very messed up thing. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a clear platform here. And we're going to rope down and attack it from a distance. Oh, my God. Is that a ranged attack? It's guarding a health fruit. There's also a giant Shelly. Yeah, it makes a weird crunch noise. Oh god. I really need to get rid of these things. That salamander's coming back from my head. Okay, now there's a bat. Oh god, no, 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 no. This ain't good. This ain't good. This might be very bad for me. Oh, God! There are some very strange things in this cave. I really didn't want to achieve this achievement. I think this might be part of the new special biome of death. Apparently. Ow. Just, just a resounding ow. Like... Okay. How does a man <laughs> with his little piles of secrets survive such a disaster? Okay, so let's rename this chest. 